In this video, we'll balance the equation K2SO3 plus HCl, potassium sulfite plus hydrochloric acid. Count the atoms up. We have two potassiums, one sulfur, three oxygens, one hydrogen, and one chlorine. On the product side, we have one potassium, one sulfur, oxygens, we have two, and be careful, we have another one right here, two plus one, that gives us three oxygen atoms, two hydrogens, and then the one chlorine atom. It looks like the only thing that's off, we have the potassiums and then the hydrogens. Let's fix the potassiums by putting a coefficient of two in front of the KCl. The two, it applies to everything. So we have one times two. That gives us two potassiums. Those are balanced. But for the Cl, we need to do that as well. So we have one Cl times the two. And that gives us two chlorine atoms. But that's okay, because if we put a coefficient of 2 in front of the HCl, we have the 1 chlorine times the 2. That fixes the chlorines. And for the hydrogens, we have 1 hydrogen times 2. That gives us 2 hydrogens. So now everything's the same on each side of the equation. This equation is balanced. One place people have problems is they'll count these two oxygens, and then they'll forget about this one. So make sure you count all of the oxygens here on the product side of the equation. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for potassium sulfite plus hydrochloric acid. Thanks for watching.